Hey everybody, Shane Armand Rowe here. Just a quick video to announce that Directory Opus is having one of its rare sales. These things only happen like every other year or when Haley's Comet goes by. So when they have a good discount or any discount, I like to share it with the channel. Um, so the coupon code is BF Black Friday 2022NOV. That'll net you 40% off of everything. But you might not know what you need if you're if you're new to Directory Opus um, or you you're a little bit confused by what the offerings are. Let me just run through them real quick so you get the right thing. So uh, if you follow my YouTube channel, you'll notice that I put a lot of videos up talking about how to do certain things in Directory Opus and why I think it's um, uh, super important for people to consider using Directory Opus for their file management needs because it is miles ahead of anything else in its class. And if you want, I'll leave a, a I'll leave a link to my reviews at the bottom. I'll do all of that good stuff for you uh, so you can actually read about why I think this is the greatest thing ever. So right now, 40% off. 40% off of what? Well, there are two different versions of Directory Opus, uh, Lite versus Pro. Uh, obviously, there's a price difference as well between the two of them. So let's take a look. So they basically say the Lite Edition is for home users who need a simple, high-performance file manager. It includes all the essential features, which I disagree with that statement, and I'll tell you why in a minute, uh, without a lot of the more complex power users, right? Unfortunately, some of the power user stuff is what makes Directory Opus Directory Opus. Pro Edition is for uh, power users who want to get the most out of their computer, high performance, but it expands on complexity, blah, blah, blah. Let's scroll down the list, and I'll tell you what you can and can't live without. So let's sort of start at the bottom. Okay, well, here, we can see the whole list right here. Uh, Windows Explorer Replacement. That's a big thing. I never want to use Windows Explorer again, ever, not even by accident. Not having it explicitly replace Windows Explorer would be uptight, upsetting for me. Uh, let's see. Um, completely configure the user interface. Okay. Th that's one of the power features of Directory Opus that set it apart from every other file manager. Floating toolbar, system-wide hotkeys. System-wide hotkeys is a deal killer for me. Once you realize that as long as Directory Opus is sitting in your sys tray, you can run anything you want with a couple of keystrokes, it's a game changer. So let's let's not say that that's non-essential. Recursive filter, secure, delete. Uh, okay. Synchronize, duplicate file finder, file split and join. That's that's giving up a lot, honestly. Synchronize, not so much. Duplicate file finder, awesome. Split and join. Normally you have to buy software to do that if you're going to split large files and join large files. Again, maybe not for everybody, but to me, not, cr not critical, not crucial, but pretty good. <clears throat> Multi-line scripts and add your own comments. Okay, perfect. That belongs in the pro package. Active scripting compatible interface. Same thing. Read-write support for archives other than zip. I'm assuming we're talking ISO. Uh, we're talking RAR. To me, that's a deal killer, right? I deal a lot with RAR. I deal a lot with ISOs. So that would be a killer. Integrated FTP support. Again, one of the things that makes Directory Opus Directory Opus is adopting FTP sites as if they were standard folders on your desktop. To me, that's a that's kind of a deal killer too. Maybe not for you, but it is for me. Native support for MTP devices. If you plug your phone in and you want to access your phone's memory or phone's SD card to pull pictures off or whatever, this is a no-brainer. you got to have it. Metadata editing. For a lot of people who use Directory Opus, being able to change MP3, uh, metadata, things of that nature, kind of crucial. Flat mode, uh, flat view mode, and file collections. This is it right here. This is why you pay for Pro. Uh, and you can see I've got videos about flat view. Uh, this is it. This is, in my opinion, there are like five good file managers for Windows. What makes Directory Opus number one is FlatView. In fact, they used to have a trademark on this, FlatView. It used to be TM because it's that good. And they should have a trademark on it because no other file manager does it. And if you are working with files for more than two seconds a day, these things are a must. So in my opinion, this is why you don't buy light. You go pro and you pay the extra money for it because it's worth it. Open multiple windows easily, Con, you know, predefined lister, lister, and layout styles, yeah. Create uh, support queries for Windows search, eh. Priority techno support, eh. Okay, so you should go pro, right? <laughs> Forget about light. I know it's very, um, it's very uh, enta uh, enticing to change from, you know, 49 AU versus 89. 
uh, dollars. What exactly does that mean? Let's find out. I'm going to just do a quick, um, let's see, so 49 AUD to USD. Uh, let's see here. You know, it used to just give this at the top of Google. Now it doesn't do it anymore. Okay, so right now that's 32 US dollars, 32 dollars for Opus Lite, which is, okay, listen, um, that's pricey for a file manager. And 89, this stupid site doesn't work very well. So 89 is 58 bucks. So it's going to cost you 60 bucks for the pro version. Okay, yeah, listen, um, that's a commitment, even on sale, to be honest with you. That's, that's pricey. But we have our 40% off coupon, right? So if, let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the math for you. So we're just going to call it $60, right? $24. Is that right? So half would be 27 28 No, wait a minute. That's not right. Oh, times 0. 0.6. Don't let me do math this early in the morning. $36. $36 for pro. Do it. Pull the trigger. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. They have, uh, they have um, lifetime uh, lifetime support. Basically, Opus 12 has been around for years, and so you're good until Opus 13, right? Um, these guys do tons and tons and tons of updates. Uh, listen, it, it's thirty six dollars. This is the best thirty six dollars you'll ever spend if you spend more than ten minutes a day working with files. If you are watching any of my Steam Deck videos, this is a file manager you should be having. Um, if nothing else, just to get access, just to be able to do great things, um, like, uh, figure out where all the space is being used on your internal storage of your steam deck. There's a million and one uses for this thing. And at $36 for the pro version, you just do it. Okay. Forget about that light crap. Okay. And then last but not least, there's one other thing that we got to talk about. And I don't love it. This is one of my least favorite things about directory opus is there are plugins that are paid. Now, 99% of what anybody needs is included in the pro version. Unfortunately, they paywalled off a couple of things. Whether these are important to you or not is completely up to you. Um, advanced FTP, when I say that, I'm talking secure FTP, meaning if you're using SSH alone on your Steam Deck to get to it, you have to pay extra for that. Listen, not everybody's using secure FTP. Hell, most people aren't using FTP at all. Uh, however, if you're using SSHFS, which you should be anyway, on your Steam Deck, this is a this means nothing. USB export. This could mean a lot to certain people. USB export means you can take your entire directory Opus, install all of its configurations, export it to a portable version, right to a USB. So now you can use directory opus without any install, take it with you to work, take it with you to your friend's house, take it with you everywhere. Again, a use case, maybe not for everybody, but it's one of those things where you don't really think about it until you need it. And then when you say, oh, what if there's a portable version, then you realize you're paying extra. So uh, unfortunately, the price isn't listed here, but it's also 40 percent off. So if you go pro plus this X, these um, extra plugins you're probably still going to do great with this Black Friday sale. Um, but I would I would question considerably whether you need these plugins or not. And you could always add them later at full price. Um, like I said, a lot of people aren't going to use these. Some people are. And when you find out it's extra, it's going to piss you off. And soily the good nature of uh, Directory Opus's name. We don't want that. So I wanted you to know that up front that there is a little something extra. You do have 60 days of eval. Um, you're not going to have time for that because this is only good, I think, for a week. Uh, so I would I would take advantage now. These do not come along frequently, right? This is Haley's Comet stuff. You may see two in your lifetime if you're lucky. That's not true. They they do it every couple of years, but uh, this is this is a good time to get into it. So. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please like, subscribe, you know what to do. Please check out my Directory Opus videos if there's something you'd like to see done with Directory Opus that I haven't already covered that uh, maybe is a little niche use case. Let me know and I'll do my best to help you out. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks always so much for watching. Take care.